Vision Christian Center.
Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen, amen. We'll give Mother Elsa a hand. Amen. amen. Good morning, New Vision. How is everybody doing? Y'all doing good? Oh, I can't hear y'all. Are y'all doing good or what? That's how I like it. Thank you for tuning in to New Vision Christian Center. Home of the holiness. Holiness is not a denomination, but it's a way of life. Amen. Don't forget for like and subscribe to our channel. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Amen. Amen. Today's speaker we have in, um, this morning is no, uh, no, I mean, the best superintendent in this um, planet Earth is Superintendent Amen. William R. Amen. 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 Before we kick this holy train on the um, holy drive, I'd like to start an open prayer. Everybody stand up for open prayer. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, we thank you on today, Lord. Thank you for your mercy and grace. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord. And Lord, we ask that you bless the one that's on the Lord. Give them eternal mercy, Lord. And the one who's uh, watching through the airwaves and social media, we ask that you watch over them and uh, bless them as well, Lord. Whatever they're dealing with or what they're going through, Lord, we claim victory over this situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, bless us today, Lord. And bless your vision on today, Lord. That's what it is. And touch the people right now, Lord, who's dealing with a situation that we can't handle, but only you can handle, Lord. And we're claiming victory right now. If you're the Praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Repeat after me. Behold. Behold. Bless you, Lord. Are you servants of the Lord? Which by night. Stay in the house of the Lord. Never be in the sanctuary. Bless the Lord. The Lord may have a nerve. Bless the Yon Zion. Alright now, the people who are watching, the people who are here, let's get our holy shoes, work out on, and we're going to put our left Lord on today, Lord. I mean, on today. No matter what's going on, we're going to bless the Lord at all times. And the praise we shall continually be in our mouth, baby. Now we're going to get to the praise team. Praise team, come on down. Y'all bless. Woke up this morning with my man
wheels on Jesus' bus go round and round. Hallelujah. Oh, Amen. They go round and round. They go round and round. Oh, I don't know, some little, one of the little kids told me that. Miss Davina, the wheels on Jesus' bus go round and round. I said, well, can I get on this bus? He said, oh, man. Oh, man. If you be right and you be nice, that's the only way you can get on that bus to go to heaven. Very soon, we're going to be going to see the king. All right, all right, all right. All right. Trees, vines connect to each other. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So when we pray, Come on. our prayer connects with one another. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 And now you know how powerful that, powerful that can be. Yeah. Amen. So let's get on one accord and let's pray together. Amen. 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 And please don't forget about our sister, um, Chantel Huff, um, district um, missionary and family. Yeah. Um, um, Michelle Ephraim, Minister Michelle Ephraim. I'm sorry. Yeah. And everybody who asked to pray for me. Amen. Amen. So let's all um, come up and let's go to the altar and we give to the pulpit. Um, Elder Ephraim, you, you start the prayer. Oh, Elder, do I have the need to the coin? Okay. All right, here's Elder Asante. Amen. We're coming from all over. Amen. Making our way to the, to the altar. Come on, open your mouth. I'm great. 
grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Take it from the top, take it from the top. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody lift your hands. I'm grateful. Come on, just let the song minister to you. The things you've done. Things you've done. Come on. Done for me. Done for me. Yes, yes. You've been faithful. Anybody in here, God's been faithful to you. And merciful. We get ready to pray. If we can have everyone come together. Hallelujah. today God father we thank you we thank you oh God for waking us up this morning clothed in our right mind God we thank you for giving up the breath of life to be able to shout the highest praise of hallelujah we thank you for always keeping us and always providing for us we give your name the thanks amen we give your name the praise because all the praise and the honor all the praise and the glory belongs to you God it belongs to you, God, for you said you never change on us, God. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, the name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. So we're lifting up our voices now, God. Praise your name, God. Glorifying your name, God. Magnifying your name, God. Because you are the only true and living God. And we thank you, God, for blessing us. Thank you for always keeping us. Father God, we're asking now that you just have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we want you to have your way in our finances. Have your way in our future, God. Have your way in our minds, God. We bind and rebuke Satan out of the mind, God. We bind and rebuke Satan out of the bodies, God. We bind and rebuke Satan out of the hearts, God. Out of the spirits, God. Out of our future, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We sometimes, we don't know what to say. And sometimes we don't have the words to say. So we're just saying, Jesus, we need you to save us again. Jesus, we need you to make a way again, God. Jesus, we need you to touch our bodies. Jesus, we need your help, God. Send your help, God. Send your help, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we need you to move. God, we need you to move, God. We need your help, God. Help, God. Open up the windows of heaven. Touch us like only you know how. Let the anointing fall from heaven. In the name of Jesus, let it saturate the room, God. Saturate us in your presence, God. Saturate us in your anointing, God. Saturate us in your love, God. In the name of Jesus, help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us to walk better, God. Help us to talk. Help us to live better in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we're crying out to you, God. We need another touch, God. We need another touch, God. We need a touch like the woman with the issue of blood. All we need is just one touch. One touch from you, God, will change our minds. One touch from you, God, will change our hearts. God, we're asking now that you forgive us of the sins we committed. Known and unknown, God. Forgive us. Forgive us, oh God, for the thoughts that we think, for the words that we said, for the ways that we acted. 
We're asking that you forgive us, God. Save us again. Fill us again. Fill us again, God. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and the mighty burning fire. Fill us again with the right words to speak. Help us to be more Christ-like. In the name of Jesus, meet every need that's on this altar on today, God. The members that are watching over this live streaming ways, go through those, God, and touch them now. Touch Sister Chantel Huff. Touch District Missionary. Touch everyone that's asking and saying, pray for me. Touch them, God, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we want you to come in and have your way. Holy Spirit, we want you to come in and have your way. Sweep through the place. Let the glory fall. We're asking for the glory of God to fall in this place. In the name of Jesus, we want to feel the love, God. We want to feel the power, and we want to feel the strength. We're asking now, God, that you touch it and on our leader, the superintendent, William Arifra. Touch him from the crown of his head to the very soles of his feet, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And God, if you can do all these things, because we know that with God all things are possible, we'll be so careful to give your name the praise. And by the clapping of our hands, we say thank you. By the clapping of our hands, we give you the praise. Because God, you're worthy. God, you're mighty. Somebody lift up your voice and shout hallelujah. seats giving God praise for his goodness and his kindness and his loving tender mercy towards you.
first um, Sunday school, y'all missed a whole lot. It was testing. If y'all missed this morning, y'all missed a wonderful, amazing Sunday school. And Sunday school is started at 9.30. We have our amazing teacher, Ella Butler, and um, Elder Ephraim. Amen. And I'm just married, just married sometimes when she um, well operating. Amen. amen. And don't, again, don't miss Sunday school. Y'all miss a whole lot. So, yes. amen. And again, don't, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and share our channel. Amen. 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 Um, right now we're gonna have a a head banger, a Holy Ghost banger. What I mean is we're gonna have two words of empowerment today. Amen. Yeah. Starting off with our lovely mother-in-law, Mother Linda Barnes. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And the next word will probably be from my wonderful Mother Taylor. Yeah. So let's give her a hand. Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I never get people to say anything, but I was reading the word last night, and I came across this devotional reading, and it says, changing our perspectives. Have you ever found yourself tasked with, tasked with doing something? Hold on, I'm sorry. <laughs> Have you ever found yourself tasked with doing something that was boring, uneven, uh, uneventful, uncomfortable, or difficult? When we find ourselves in those situations, our first reaction might be to complain or quit trying. Or quit trying. Sometimes mundane jobs and everyday responsibilities don't feel like worthwhile investments of our time and energy. But the truth is, everything we do matters to God and is used by Him. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Whatever you do, whether you're in your uh, dream career or working for someone difficult, whether you're taking care of your house or organizing a business, everything we do is an opportunity to worship Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's just a matter of perspective. Yes. If we view life through a lens that is only concerned with ourselves, we will quickly grow tired of our circumstances and disappointment. But if we know, if we view life through a lens of worship, nothing and this life will give you more joy than serving Jesus. If everything becomes about him, then everything is worth doing well. Yes. If you're Christians, then our lives belong to Jesus. As Paul put it, Jesus is now our master. Our whole world becomes about him, his purpose and his glory. When we do everything with him in mind, he never fails to bless us Amen. with his presence, yeah. his love, his grace. And one day, we will also give us an eternal reward Amen. of our faithful service. So as you think about yes. the work, yes. about the work God has put in front of you, All right. consider what it would mean to do everything for the Lord. And then ask yourself, in what ways will I honor God and inspire others today? So I just wanted to read that because when I read it, it resonated in my 
hard and I say, this is something that I want to say to the people of New Vision. Because who knows who's going through what I was speaking about in here. So you know that don't take things too serious. And like they say, do it unto God. And he'll bless you. You know, don't, I know, I know, because I worked in the uh, fields for a long time, and I know it's hard, you know, dealing with your boss or somebody. But you know, just put God first. Just say, Lord, I'm not going to let this person upset me. Lord, I put it in your hands. Lord, I, I thank you for all that you've done for me. And I'll try not to complain. Because we all do. We all do. But just think about when you start complaining, just talk to God. Thank you. Amen. Let's get more than the little bonus. Do you have a little words of empowerment? Okay. 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 Praise God, everybody. Praise God, everybody. I really enjoyed the word from Mother Barnes. And Amen. as she was reading, I said, strangely, we did not talk to each other about connecting our topics. Her topic was changing your perspective. And in order to change your perspective, you need to have some Galatians 5, 22 and 3. That's how you change your perspective. She said, when you're carrying your load, talk to God. Yes. Well, the only way you're going to talk to God is do some Galatians 5, 22 and 23. And I'm going to give the words of empowerment leading off of her because Galatians 5 and 22 tells us that we should receive our fruits of spirit because they come from the Lord. And the fruits of the spirit, one of them is joy. We walk around too sad. We need to change our perspective. We need to bring some happiness into the sanctuary. The next one is love. When you change your perspective, you'll love your enemy. You'll love those that talk about you. You'll love those that prosecute you. Change your perspective. Oh man, I feel it now, Deacon. I, I didn't come up here to do all of this, Mother Blackwell. I just want to sit down. But she said, change your perspective. And I got to change mine, too. When the word comes, it finds everybody. Then after you love, you need to have some faithfulness. We're not faithful to one another. We get behind each other back after talking in our faces. Change your perspective. Because when you do, you won't do that no more. You'll learn to be faithful. Praise God. Faithful is to trust. Faithful is to be loyal. And a lot of us don't know how to do that anymore. Then we have to have peace. Follow peace with all men. We don't have peace. We have trouble. And she said when you change your perspective, you can talk to God and he'll give you peace. Praise the Lord. Then patience. We don't have patience. We want everything right now. I, I can't wait on it. I got to go out there and get it. That's why so many of our young folks can't have patience. Because you see our old folks don't have no patience. Change your perspective. Praise the Lord. Kindness. Still in Galatians 5 and 22 and 3. Kindness. We don't have kindness because we want it all for ourselves. We don't know how to be kind one to another. Praise God. Then we have gentleness. Gentleness don't mean that we're weak. It just means that we change our perspective so that we can serve the Lord. Praise God. And last and foremost, Self-control. Self-control will help us to resist temptation and avoid conforming to the world. 
change your perspective. Called two chain. I got two mics. <laughs> one for him, one for a preacher, one for praising. Amen. Amen. <laughs> no, I'm saying. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, let's get back. Let's get back on track. Amen. Amen. Be you, brother. you, brother. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Right now. Um, we're going to have a selection by the uh, praise team, I mean, not praise team, the New Vision Choir. Amen. Amen. The best choir in town. Amen. Yeah. And after that, we, um, our third, um, one for singer, um, Mother Elder, will sing after the choir. Amen. And after that, will be the poop. Amen. So we'll give the um, New Vision Choir a hand. Amen. That's it coming.
the reason. I'm sold out. Hallelujah. Anybody sold out to God? Hallelujah. Come on. Anybody sold out to God? Hallelujah. Speaker, and I am De um, Deacon Vincent Ford, your MC of the hour. I'm going to relinquish my stand. So, y'all have a blessed and blessed day. And people who's tuning in, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Amen. 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 Saved when I was eight years old. All right. All right, mother. God has been good all the time. All the time. And my mind go any way in the direction back from God. Amen. He handles things. Amen. Houses and land may not own wealth and riches to be known. A little pilgrim in this world that I may be. Oh, yes, I can't keep up with the time. But I know I'm doing fine. I claim Jesus first, and that's it. Enough for me.
Amen. We need to be standing on our feet praising the Lord right now. She said she claimed Jesus is enough for me. Number one. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a hand, praise. Come on, we can. Let's show our love to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's show our love by giving him a hand praise. Hallelujah. He sure is worthy to be praised. That's all he has. Praise his holy name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And we didn't hear the word for me. We didn't hear the singing. And we didn't praise a little bit. Now it's time for the word. So we know we're going to ask each and every one to receive our pastor in his own way. You know, God has been good. Yes. Can't do nothing but praise him. Yes. You know what I mean? Can't do nothing but give him the glory. Amen. But we're going to ask each and every one to stand and receive our pastor. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Church, say amen. amen. Father God, we thank you for your goodness and for your mercy, for your loving kindness, how you walked over, watched over us and kept us, strengthened us when we were down, helped us when we needed it, came when we didn't expect you, all of those things that you've done for me, I know. I want to say thank you. Asking you to build us up where we're broken down, strengthen us where we're weak, give us help in the midst of a helpless situation. Send your word now, Lord, these next few minutes. Help me. Bind up the broken hearts. Heal those that are sick. Give them a mind a little for you. Send your word now, Lord. These next few minutes. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Everybody say thank the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. He's the answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's the answer. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's the answer. He's the answer. He's the answer today. Do you love him? I love him, I love him, I love him. He's the answer. I love him, I love him, I love him. He's the answer. I love him, I love him, I love him. He's the answer. He's the answer. He's the answer. I know this is true. He's the answer today. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes all day. That's, that's what they used to say when they didn't have no mics, they didn't have no organs, they didn't have nothing. Yes all day. Y'all ain't singing them. Yes all day. Yes all day. Yes all day. Y'all still be having them. Yes, all day. Y'all just repeat what I say. Yes, all day. Can you smoke stand up on you? Yes, all day. Yes, all day. Come on, y'all, help me out. Yes, all day. 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 And yes. Come on, y'all. Yeah. When I said, you said after me. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. He's my king. 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 He's Yes, all day. Come on. Yes, all day. Yes, all day. Yes, all day. So that's what we can happen now. Yes, all day. Yes, all day. Ah, uh, yes. Don't you feel him now? He's my king. There's no other like him. I made up my mind. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Say yes. Say yes. Give him a clap off and then tell the Lord yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Give him a hand wave. Say, Lord, here we are. Father, I'm ready to be blessed. Say yes. Hayarabasha. Give him glory. Give him praise. Tell him thank you. Are you ready? Say, Lord. I said, say, Lord. Lord. I tell y'all what, I'm just going to do what the Lord told me to do. Emma. I got all. I 
I got all these messages. One of them is repent or else. No, no leave that right there. I repent or thank you. Repent. The one message is repent or else. I, it's, and then it says, you can't keep a good man down. I got that too. But I, I heard the Lord say, look at somebody say, is there any word from the Lord? I heard him say, you may, he may not come when you want him. I heard him say, you may not come when you want to, but he's on way, he's on time. That's what I heard him say. He said, he may not come. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Give him a hand wave. Look at somebody say, I know that's the truth. I ain't going to be up here on you. I'm going to sit out if you want me. I'm going to do just what he told me to do, and I'm going to get out of the way. I've been, I've been musing over this and going over it and all of that, and he said, preach, repent, or else. That's me. I got it worked out. And, and then, then I, I got the other one said, well, you know, you can't keep a good man down. I got that one. And when I walked into the sanctuary, he said, tell these people, he may not come when you want him to come. But he's always on time. And read this scripture to him. From the book of St. John, the 11th chapter, first verse. Y'all with me? Now, y'all know I got all kind of announcements, but that ain't what this is about. Amen. The Bible says there was a certain man that was sick okay. named Lazarus. Uh, yeah. He lived in Bethany, yes. the town of Mary and her sister Martha. Yes. It was in this town, y'all. Yes, it was that Martha which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore, somebody say therefore. His sister sent unto him saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. They are in dire trouble. When Jesus heard that, he said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Mary and Martha and Lazarus are in a turmoil. Lazarus is dying. Say this with me. He may not come when you want him. But he's always on time. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard therefore that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Wherever Jesus was, he didn't leave. Mary and Martha and Lazarus was suffering. Y'all can sit down if you want to. I don't mind, I'm standing. But you see the picture. Mary and Martha was worried. Their brother was sick unto death, yeah. Sister Paul, and they knew it. Yeah. And Lazarus was dying. Yes, sir. 
sixth verse again. When he had heard, talking about Jesus, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Every now and then you get in trouble. Things start happening to you and you wonder where God is. Every now and then. You wonder if anyone cares about you. You think about, does he really know you here? But the Lord sent me by to tell you today, he may not come when you want him to come. But he's always on time. I heard Brother Barnes say in his testimony this morning in Sunday school that God, the man, the man that God sent, that, that angel that he sent, that, that persona that he sent, that personality that he sent, told him, don't worry about it. It's going to be all right. He may not come when you want him. But he's always on time. The seventh verse is, then after that said he to his disciples, let us go into Jerusalem, into Judea again. His disciples said unto him, Master, the Jews of late yes, sought to stone thee. Yeah, uh -huh. And you going back there again? My God. Jesus said, are there not 12 hours in the day? Okay. If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of this world. When you really know who you are, right, you ain't intimidated by nothing and nobody. They may be wanting to kill you, but you still, they still, you still not intimidated by them. Jesus said, but if a man walk in the night, if your mind is messed up, if your life is messed up, if your heart is cluttered up, every little thing bothers you. Anything anybody say to you sets you off. You, 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 you perceive people talking about you and they ain't thinking about you. You get upset about stuff, you ought to been done when somebody remind you of it. You go to think, you, it's your fault I ain't got no money. It's your fault I ain't got no car. It's your... No, it ain't none of my fault. You lazy boy, you get up and go to work. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth. Because there is no light in him. These things said he. 11th verse. And after that he said to them. Our friend Lazarus sleepeth. But I go that I may awake him out of sleep. There are too many saints sleeping. In a dangerous time. There are people sleeping thinking they right. That, that folks sleeping thinking that what they doing to other folks is right. You can't tell them nothing. They think you they don't have, there ain't no solution but that solution. Your, your explanation is the only explanation. You don't know why them folks are sick of you. Because you think you're right in everything. Some folk are they, they walking in the in the light, but they 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 in the night. They can't see the forest for the trees. So Jesus said, I'm going to go that I might wake him up. Then said his disciples, these brave guys, Lord, if he's sleeping, he'll do well. How be it, 13th verse, Jesus spoke of his death. But they thought that he had spoken of taking rest in sleep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes people can see you going through. They don't have no sympathy. Help us. Amen. They don't mind riding your back till you die. They'll ride you into the dust. If you let them. Well, so 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 Jesus said, 14th verse, then he told them plainly, he says, Lazarus is dead. And I'm glad for your sake that I wasn't there. Okay. To the intent yeah. that you may believe. Yes, sir. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Yes, 
Yes, sir. And so Jesus gets his boys up and they get started. But Thomas, big bad Thomas said, who, which is called Didymus, unto his fellow disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. A lot of folk promise you a lot of stuff. Don't have no intention of doing none of it. Or they, both, they, they brave when they they're eating the fish and the loaves. They're happy when you're paying their car note. They're glad when you give them a pen, helping them pay their rent. Y'all. But well, Jesus says, I'm glad for y'all's sake. That I wasn't there. And the reason is that I want y'all to believe. Right. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Yes, then said Thomas, it's called Didymus, well, let's go so we can die with him. Y'all remember him, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he, he was one of the first ones that ran. One of the first. <laughs> when Jesus was attacked. Come on. And then after he was raised from the dead, he still didn't believe it until he saw the prince in his side. Then when Jesus came, he found that he had been in the grave four days already. Now, 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 that created a situation where, you know, the body begins to deteriorate immediately. And after three days, it starts stinking. And after four days, it's putrid. You, you, the eyes turn to jelly in, um, unless you've been embalmed, embalmed and all of that. I got Amen. But they didn't embalm people like that then. And, and, and Lazarus is in his grave and, and he, he, was in, he was in the grave four days already. Y'all got your Bibles? And now Bethany was near unto Jerusalem about 15 furlong, maybe seven or eight miles away I think to and, and many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Oh, you done lost your brother. You, you, you poor thing, you. And the more they pet you, the more you cry. Now, y'all don't like me because I'm telling you the truth. You know how it is when, some, when something that happened. Soon, as soon, as long as you do, ain't nobody put their arm around you. You're pretty strong. But soon as somebody puts their arm around you, I got folk don't like me right now. Soon as you put your arm around them, they break down because they've been standing on their own and they had no help and all of a sudden, here's somebody that feels sorry for me and I need somebody to feel sorry for me. I need, I need the help, I'm only human. Y'all can pray with me these next five, oh, ten minutes. Yes, so that they are. <laughs> Many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Yes. Then Martha, Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him, but Mary mm -hmm. stayed in the house. Yes, I ain't going out I there. He, he didn't come when I needed him. I don't need him now. Uh -oh. Oh God, oh God. Uh -oh. He, he healed everybody and fed all these folk. Did all these miracles. And when I need him, he ain't showed up. And he lived in my house, ate in my ate my food, spent my tithe money. I, but I, I ain't going to say I don't want to talk to him okay. she stayed in the house then said Martha unto Jesus Lord if you had been here my brother wouldn't have died yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. you could have been here you was close yeah. but you didn't come Yes, Jesus, his best friend is dead. Nobody talks about how Jesus feels. They don't care how he felt. 
Just like sometimes you trying to help somebody. They don't care what okay. they want what you got, but they don't care about you. She said, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But then she said, I know though that even now, whatever you will ask of God, God will give it to you. Jesus said unto her, thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that. I know he's going to rise again. I, I already know that. Yeah. I know he shall rise again in the resurrection yes, sir. at the last day. I know he's going to rise again. That's not my problem. My, God. my problem is that you could have been here yeah. and you didn't come. Yeah. But I ain't going to say that because you're Jesus. <laughs> I know he's going to rise again. She's she talking to Jesus. Yeah. I know he's going to rise again on the last day. Mm -hmm. But right now, you could have saved him. He didn't have to, I didn't have to lose my brother. You know, I didn't, my brother didn't have to die. He was your friend. You done done all this for these other folks, feeding people and opening blinded eyes and all of that stuff. But when my time comes, I don't get nothing. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't like me. The Lord told me to tell y'all he may not come when you want him. But he's always on time. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I am never going to die. I don't care if my frame is 88 years old. I don't care if my knees do hurt. I don't care if I only got one eye. I am never going to die. I'm going to live forever with the Lord. And not, and not only that, I got a new body waiting for me. I, mean, I ain't going into that tonight. <laughs> I, the knees I got don't work too good no way. He said he'll live again. Whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Believe, do you believe this? 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 Y'all look at me. Do you believe this? Yes, sir. See, when you believe this, you don't have no fear of death. When you believe this, you ain't all jacked about. It's rain in this that I don't like. You, 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 when you believe this, it don't matter if you got an old car or a new car. When you believe this, your whole pers perceptive perspective changes. When you believe this thing that used to mean stuff, you don't mean nothing to you no more. Do you believe this? You ain't got to be a millionaire to be happy. In fact, most millionaires I've seen ain't happy. Do you believe this? That's what he said. Ain't that what he said? He said, and, 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 and when she said unto him, yes, Lord, I, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. And when she said, had so said, she went her way. She went on about her business. Y'all hear me? She left. She went on about her business. She went on about her business. And called Mary, her sister, secretly, saying, the master is come. She went back to Mary and told us, come on, girl, quit acting so crazy. Y'all yeah. with me? Yeah, come on, Pastor. Don't, now look, yo, how you gonna act like that with Jesus? All right. I got he did, he done everything he could do for us. 
You know, he's Lazarus' friend. Don't act like, don't act all crazy. Just because you didn't get what you want. Don't act all silly because you didn't get the, get the, your position in the choir. Don't act like that. Just because they didn't make you a missionary, potentate. Don't, don't act like that. Come on, girl. Come on now. Yeah, what you doing hanging in the house? You've been knowing Jesus. He's been at our house. He's done, done all those things with us. Don't do that. Sometimes you try to constantly console people try to help people and they look at you they ain't have nothing you say they don't care what you say to them some people don't never hear nothing except what they want to hear you can tell a guy look no, that's, that's the wrong way to go at that he don't care what you say he thinks he right in everything You tell her about what she doing, and she look at you like a, what is it, a cow standing in front of a gate, going one year and go out the other one. No matter what kind of advice you give her, she still leave the house through the window at 12 at midnight. Well, these windows, you can't go out of them like that. Now they sneak out the side door. Y'all, 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 y'all. She, she went over, she went over, the Bible said, the Bible said, the Bible says. She went out secretly, I think it said. Mm. Yes. Am I right? Yeah. It says when she had so said, she went her way and called Mary, her sister, secretly. Saying, the master is come and call, he's asking for you. Why you been? You don't come to church no more. You don't like my message. Uh oh. Watch out, sir. Soon as she heard that, she arose quickly yeah. and came to him. Now Jesus was not yet come into this town, but was in that place where Martha met him. Yes. Can you see him? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. The mourners were there. The Jews were there. The girls were there now. The Jews then, which were with her in the house and comforted her when they saw Mary that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her saying, she goes to the grave to weep there. The girl was hurt. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, see if you, if you get in the presence of Jesus your attitude will change. Whether it's permanent or not. You can't just come in church and act any old kind of way and stay in here. You have to leave out because you done made up your mind. I don't care what they say. I ain't hearing nothing. I don't want to be hearing nobody preach. Who is he or who is she? I am not interested in what she's saying. She can't tell me nothing. I'm going to take my 10 cents and I'm leaving. Y'all ain't with me. Come on, oh, help this old man. Help. Help. Now Jesus was not yet come into the town, that's the 30th verse, but was in that place where Martha met him. The Jews then, which were with her in the house and comforted her when they saw Mary. They were petting on her and talking to her. Can't do nothing for her. I'll help you eat some of that chicken. I'll, I'll be there with you. <laughs> well, if without a repass. Well, come on. <laughs> they, 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 they saw her rise up quickly, went out, and they followed her, saying, She goes to the grave. She's going to weep there. We're going with her. We gonna be, all of us going to be sad together. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was, and she saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, Lord, Lord. if you had have been here, my brother would not have died. You should have been here for me. 
If you had just been here, well, what did, what did they say, y'all? When, 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 and when they saw Jesus, therefore, say this, Jesus, therefore, talk to him. Say, Jesus, therefore, saw her weeping. And the Jews also weeping, which came with her. Oh, I'm so <laughs> if you had been here, see the, all the Jews around. If you had been here, it was. If you had been here, it's right here on this page. If you had been here, it, yeah, she's right. If you'd have been there, she's right. She, what, what was wrong with him? He didn't show up. Is it if you had? Many, she said what they all wanted to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. My brother would not have died. Okay. Okay. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, came with her. He groaned mm -hmm. in his spirit mm -hmm. and was troubled. Yeah. How long are we going to hurt the Lord? Then he said, where have you laid him? Jesus regretted the fact that he had to let Lazarus die. But every now and then, if you are really one of his servants, he'll use you to get his word across. He said to them, the reason I left this, if I had been there, I would have had this opportunity to show y'all who I am. Every now and then, something happens, and God has to use you to show who he really is. Are you strong enough to be used to God? You calling on them to use you? You don't know what he's going to use you for. Right. And then that, that ain't on. I'm going to close this because I ain't getting nowhere. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. Go on, speak it. He groaned in the spirit and was troubled. Yes, sir. They're hurting so bad. I had to hurt them. I had to let them hurt. Yes, sir. Just to prove my point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody got to suffer for him sometime. Somebody got to go through something for him sometime. Right. That's why every night I, then I got to repent. Because yes, I get so tired of being tied down and don't have no money and can't go nowhere. My body is hurting. And then I want to cry out and say, Lord, when is my turn going to come? Then I got to catch myself. Why, what am I for? If I'm not to be used by him. Yes, sir. The preacher is God's battle axe. Yes, sir. He used David to fight his battles. Yes. He's God's carpenter. Yes, sir. He used Noah to build an ark. Yes, sir. He's God's sheep keeper. Watch out. He, need, he used David to tend, to tend his sheep. I would go on, but I, I'll get off into something else. Keep going, sir. Can't, can't nobody do you like Jesus. He, he, he groaned. Y'all with me? In the spirit and was troubled. Say Jesus was troubled. Jesus had, was troubled because Mary and Martha were hurting and Lazarus was dead. He had to go through the pains of death for Jesus. Somebody had to do it. He used Lazarus. Lazarus had to die just to prove that Jesus was about more than fish and loaves. Help me. He was troubled in his spirit. He groaned 
Oh my God. And says, where? Where have you laid him? Where have you put him? And they said unto him, Lord, come and see. And Jesus wept. He cried. He was hurting. He was hurting because somebody had to die yeah. just to believe in him. Yeah. They couldn't just believe in him for the works that he had done. They couldn't believe in him because he opened blinded eyes. They couldn't believe in him because he fed five times. They needed some. It had to take something as graphic and as, and as final as death for he spoke to believe in him. He cried. Oh, what is it going to take for these people to believe who I am? What, is it gonna what am I going to have to do for people in New Vision to understand that God is here? What's going to happen? What I got to do? I, 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 I've done some stuff for New Vision. New Vision had everything in it. But I wouldn't have never had a new vision if he hadn't lost all that stuff. I needed to show somebody that God is able to do it with you. Yes, Here it is. Jesus, 35th verse, wept. Then said the Jews, behold, how he really loved him. Y'all with me? Yes, and some of them said, could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? Why did he let him die? He didn't have, couldn't this, this man could have kept him alive. He didn't have to let him die. He, and Mary and Martha, if you had a been here, yeah, I, if you had a been here, my brother would not have died. I love you, Jesus, but you didn't do me right. I was done. My, you. <laughs> Folk around it, they'll, in, they'll, they'll increase your anger and your unbelief and your pain if you listen to these folks. Yes. Tell the Lord, thank you. Even this man wouldn't have died. Didn't have to die. Yeah. Jesus, therefore again, groaning in himself, comes to the grave. It was a cave. And a stone lay upon it. Yeah. Jesus said, take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, Come on now. By this time, he's stinking. For he has been dead four days. She looking around at her sister. His body just started rotting. He's going to embarrass us again. He's going to do it to us again. Nevertheless, Jesus groaning in the spirit. It was a cave that they laid him in. Jesus said, take the stone away. His sister didn't want to do it. She swear her brother going to be stinking and being embarrassed. Jesus said to her, said I not unto thee that if I would believe, if you would believe Thou should have seen the glory of God. Didn't I tell you that? Didn't he? They ain't he been telling y'all that he got millionaires in this church? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm one. Amen. I receive. God is telling you constantly. Don't worry. God gonna bless you. Yes, he is. Well, he may, he's telling you through my mouth. He gave me that word for new vision. Yes, sir. He said there are millionaires. In this church. Get up and get up thanking it. Don't worry about it. He may not come when you want him to come. 
but he's on time. Jesus said unto us, didn't I tell you that if you would believe, you should see the glory of God? Then they that took away the stone from the place where he, the dead was laid. The, the advice, American Standard Version says they, they don't use that part in there. Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard. You heard me. Yes. How many of y'all been praying and don't know if God heard you now? <laughs> but I came by to tell you that he's heard you. Yes. I knew that you hear me always. But because of the people which stand around, I said it, that if I did it so that they may believe that you sent me. Sometimes you have to go through, Sister Shemika, when you don't feel like it. You don't feel inspired. You don't feel like going to church. You don't feel like saying it. Your money is funny and your change is strange. You already spent part of your tithe money. You're feeling guilty. And something down inside of you. See, I, I, I got to pay my tithes anyhow. Deacon, that's like now. You've been struggling with that. I came by to tell you. Come on, sir. Catch it up with 5%. Oh, catch it up. Yes. I said, yes. Jesus. I said, Jesus. The lily of the valley. Jesus. The bride and the morning star stood there in the presence of all of the Jews and his two best friends. They were crying and he was crying. He was not crying because he couldn't raise Lazarus. He was crying because he had to use folk just to prove himself. Every now and then, the church stands on the shoulders of 10 or 12 folks and other people with all kind of money don't give anything. But don't worry, God, the God I serve, he's able. Jesus said to her, did I not tell you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God. Don't worry when they get mad at you, when you pay cash for your house. Don't worry when they get angry with you, when your family come together. Because he will, I said he will, keep his word. The Bible says, then they, at his command, took away the stone. It was hard, I said it was hard, Sister Ball, for Mary and Martha. But they did it anyhow, every now and then. Church life gets hard for you, but you got to hang on in there. Yes, the Bible says then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. Yes, yes, and Jesus started praying. He said, Father, I want to thank you. I, 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 I know. I know you always hear me, but for the benefit 
of these that's standing around. I said, I know, I said, I know he's going to come to my rescue. And the father second verse said, I know that you hear me always, but because of the people that stand around, I said it, that they might believe. I don't have to do it for me, but I'm gonna do it for you. Yes, and when he had thus spoken, the Bible tells us he spoke with a loud voice. Yes, the folk were standing around. The sisters were standing around. The daughters were standing around. And I heard him. I said, I heard him. Lazarus, come forth. Yes, the Jews fell backwards. The sisters dropped their head. Yes, an eerie sound and an eerie scene came over the place. They was watching the grave, wondering what this crazy man was doing. And yes, and then, somebody said, help me say, then, then, out of the grave. Let's see what it said. Then, he said, Lazarus, come forth. Yes. When he had thus spoken, he cried. See, that's why I screamed. He cried in a loud voice. Lazarus, come forth. Holy silence, eerie quietness. And then, and at the end, he that was dead came forth, bound, hand and foot, with grave cloths. Yes, I said yes. His face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto him, Loose the man. Loose the man. And let him go. Yes. I came by to tell you. Before I take my seat. He may not. Come when you want it. But it's always. On time. Don't worry. About everything. Hand it into the Lord. He may not come when you want him. He's always on time. He's on time in the sick room. He's on time in the boardroom. He's on time in the courthouse. He may not come. I said he may not come when you want him to come. But he's always anybody here know what I'm talking about. Anybody here ever experienced, you know you was finished, but Jesus showed up at the last minute. He will not. I tell you what, Anybody in here ever experienced miraculous deliverance? Anybody in here? If you're in here, wave your hand. If you've been here, I want you to stand up and help me out. Close this message. He may not. He may not come when you want him. Look at somebody. He may not come when you want him. 
But you can't say it if you haven't experienced it. Have you ever experienced it, Elder? He may not. Anybody in here. Your back was against the wall. Everything was against you. Anybody in here have experienced it? Stand with me for a few minutes. He may not. Your back might be against the wall now. Look at somebody say, he may not come when you want him to come. But it's always on time. I know you know what I'm talking about. I thought I was lost. I thought I was dead. But here I am, 50 years later. He may not come. Some folks forget where he brought them from. He brought me Bologna sandwiches, we eat the steaks. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. He brought me from holes in my pants, right in a bend. He may not come when you want him. I came by to tell you, he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Does anybody here? Watch 
made everything wrong. And they felt someone that was running around. It's something to run around this church when these little kids are doing it. God be working on them. Look at somebody. Say, He may not come. Hallelujah. 
may not come when you want him to, but he's always on time. Hallelujah. We just have to keep believing and have patience. We got to have patience. Because I know the trials and tribulations that we've been going through lately. It's been rough on a lot of us. You know, but we got to hold on in there. We can't let it, we can't let every time we feel a little pressure, a little problem touch us and get in our way that we got to take three steps back. And then we got to find ourselves to come back forward and ask God for forgiveness every time something goes on. You know, it's not about that. He's there to forgive us for whatever we do. Hallelujah. He may not come when you want him to, but he's always on time. Hallelujah. His offering. God bless you, everyone. God bless you. Amen.